Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Got a wave to another Sutco driver there. Across the street. Never seen a Sutco truck there before, but. Might be delivering in here. Yeah. Park, park there and then get ready to deliver in here. I don't know. Tight yard to deliver and you have to loop it from this side. Unless it a little there go back Could be. That's weird. Never seen us deliver there before. My Petro is super busy now. Oh yeah. With all the highway closures. A lot more trucks in this town. It's gonna be harder getting appointments for oil changes and repairs and all that too because there's gonna be a lot more broken down trucks. So it took a while to get into the fuel station. Literally queued up on the on the roadway. Turn left on highway 97. Yeah, good idea, Graham. Good idea. The bizarre thing was saw the company that usually fills Esso filling Metro. Yeah, competition that came here, competition delivery of fuel came to the Petro Pass and deliver is delivering fuel to the Petro Pass. So they're just buying fuel wherever they can buy it. They must be like hey, Esso, you can run, bring some extra loads to Petro. Okay, we'll buy those. So you can't keep up with this amount of traffic. <laughs> Imagine Princeton. Only one car left for this yeah, I'm thinking I'd never want to run between a Soyuz and a Hope without fuel. Yeah. Always fill up all the way before doing either of those. I haven't shot going through Kelowna in forever. Never in 4K, so Kelowna in 4K for the first time. We're in Rutland right now. We're kind of coming into Kelowna here. And it's raining. Very light drizzle. Take it over yesterday. Oh, please like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. That good. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> well, you guys saw the snow I was driving on yesterday morning and when we got onto the 16 I'm like oh a little bit slushy here it's gonna get better no 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 it got much much worse by the time we were in Quinell I was pulling over and smashing my wipers cleaning the wipers full heat going over the windshield just so I could get the wipers to kind of thaw out and still had to pull over and slam the wipers it just everything was freezing up that really heavy wet slushy snow and it just was freezing to the windshield it was that perfect temperature that makes it difficult to drive in we were doing a lot of it at 40 kilometers per hour there's an accident an accident holy smokes there were a lot of accidents i couldn't record them because i'm blowing maximum heat across the windshield which means the camera would overheat instantly there's the one that the big one a pickup had hit a uh, super beat trailer so hard that the front front trailer rear axle had been knocked clean off of the trailer. It's like, yeah, when you do that to a big rig, you're lucky to be alive. Something that the pickup got hit though, because it hit a lot of trunk damage. Yep, there was a lot of yeah. It, I don't know, maybe it backed underneath the trailer. Maybe it lost control and. The rear of that truck was just smashed up. Yeah, there were there were a bunch of vehicles in the ditch. A bunch of big rigs just slid off into the ditch. A lot of them were slow speed accidents. Some of them were high speed accidents. And then of course we sat there with the road closures. And everybody thought it was Indy 500 after the road closure. It's like, did you guys not just see all the cars in the ditch and now it's time to go as fast as you can? 
Come on, guys. Young Black is so much. I'm late home. I'm I'm home late for supper. Of course, there's a lot of accidents on other highways too. I was reading about. Yeah, there was quite a few. Pretty much BC highway closures all over the place due to accidents. Yeah, we didn't. We had to wait 15 minutes for one closure, but that's it. Yeah. I know one highway was closed overnight for like. 18 hours or something. That was Highway 5? Yeah. I never got an update about the one that we went through back to Cornell. They never said if that highway was open or not again, so I don't know how long that was closed. But yeah, the roads were crazy yesterday. And I think whoever's in charge of our traffic control really dropping the ball. Like when you pull into Cache Creek, southbound to Cache Creek, there's no signing that says Vancouver, turn turn left to go to Kamloops. There's no signing at all. And on the radio, there were truckers driving south of Cache Creek and going, hey, I'm really confused. Halfway down the road, all of a sudden they have barricades, right? Miles down the road. It was, uh... Google Maps now says we can't go that way either. It's like, don't listen to your Google Maps. Somebody needs to put big digital signs in Cache Creek and then by Camp Loops and by Merritt that says Vancouver this way. Yeah, they somehow got up here from the coast, but they can't no matter how. Yeah, they, they, they're from the coast. They followed Google Maps to get up here, and now they can't figure out how to get back down. So I gave them directions which way to go, and then you hear on the radio that they're taking a different route. I'm like, okay, whatever. You guys, your funeral. You guys gonna run into dead ends after dead ends. And one of the reasons they gave is they didn't want to go into the headwind. I'm like, well. That's the only route, really. There's, there's really one route through here, unless you're taking back roads. There's really one way to get to Vancouver. There are other back ways to get there, but at least there's shortcuts. But eh, there are shortcuts only if you're not in a snowstorm. Snowplows are going to be cleaning the main roads. <laughs> Don't take back roads. <laughs> Yeah, I think they definitely need signs. That's just a hint of how many truckers are lost. Yeah. It's like, we know the roads. We're like, oh, that road's closed. Okay, we know exactly what to do, but people don't. Especially if they're listening to Google. Google does vehicles. It doesn't give pickups. Or not pickups, semis. Semis, yeah. Don't follow Google directions for semis. Yeah. You get into weight restrictions and everything. What was that, buddy? The automatic ground gear. You hear that? The automatic was grinding a gear. I think it, I think it knows you're not going to Kenworth this weekend. It's like, yeah, I think I want to give you a reason. I guess if you can't find it, grind it. That applies to the computer, too. Good thing it doesn't do that often. HOV lane that's broken. They're broken the day they invented that HOV lane. Having their HOV lane in the right lane is just broken. It doesn't work. As 
far as I'm concerned, that center median is a waste of space. So I guess the turn lanes use the center median. Yeah. It's hot in here. Why is it hot in here? Are you blowing hot air again for no reason? I think you are. Well, in that case, let's turn everything off so we're not blowing any air. It's not bad in Florida today. It's only 9. It's not even 9 yet. Not even quite 9 yet. But. So it's starting to pick up. I get up early enough that it would be. You'd think this would be major rush hour right now. People, most people have to be to work by 9, so maybe the end of rush, really. The rush is usually between 7 and 9, right? There's a lot more traffic going on. Jess, and then after that we'll head to, I guess I'll head to Montana. You don't know the rest of your week. And then I don't know the rest of next week. Don't know it. I saw that you had your paperwork emailed to you, so. Oh, okay, so. I know Ivan called me yesterday going, did you get any of the paperwork, customs paperwork? It's like, nope. I was told that they were going to email it to you guys. Crossing in Soyuz? No, Sweetgrass. Oh, right, right, right. Right, Crossing Sweetgrass. That makes sense, yes. Of course, that, that makes, yeah. Was, buildings would be crossing in Soyuz, but going to uh, northern Montana, it doesn't make sense crossing. Only makes sense if Kuni would get used to Probably is going to get a big storm, and I want to avoid Kootenai, but we'll go over Kootenai. Hopefully, I don't have to chain up. I'm not sure the forecast is that way. Yeah, the HOV basically forces the slowest traffic into the center lane. Yeah, and lots of people that don't actually have someone with them stay in the HOV lane. Which then defeats the purpose of the HOV. Because prove it that that person wasn't about to turn off, or prove that that person just didn't turn on. Yeah. You're allowed to drive in the HOV lane to exit the, the roadway. It's, it's a dumb design. Really just relying on the furnace not to jump. No strap at all, huh? No. The furnace just loose on the back of the pickup. Yeah. And not even against the back gate. No. If it was against the back gate, it would probably lay down all the way on the ground. Huh. Yeah, that's insecure load. 
That's a ticket if CVSE was around. Blue Ford right beside us. Oh, there's one strap. There's one strap. Oh, I thought it was part of the box. Yep, yeah, there's one strap. Downtown Kelowna is just to our right hand side here. Nope, we're not taking a big rig. Not even legal to take a big rig now. Expensive places in Canada to live right here. I have a theory for why. Why? Everybody that lost their job in Vancouver can't live in Vancouver. So they move here. So they move to a it's tourist. It's cheaper here than in Vancouver. Yeah, in this tourist area, they're usually used to living here or vacationing here. Yeah. So I think they all came here because why not? It's a beautiful area. City of Red Lights. I don't think that's the only thing they're going for. It's red, no point of stopping the throttle all the way to the bottom and save a little fuel. Get into this lane. Nobody behind me. HOV lane ends right at this light, so. Bridge, a lot more traffic still coming in. 
Yeah, there's a lot of traffic coming into town. Yeah, from from the south. Lots of room on my side, bud. Lots of room. Wide loop. Forestry equipment. on the water. Independent Bridge. Five lane bridge that floats on the water. ago you would remember it as West Bank. Anything that's on native land is still considered West Bank. So I guess right now we're in West Bank. Eventually we'll drive into West Florida. West Kelowna, they would get more tourists. And I think they're right. It's still a dumb reason to change your name. A lot of people cross this bridge every day. They live here on the west side and work on the east side. so icy that even late last night when we pulled into the rest area I got stuck in the rest area I'm like okay fine we'll just park here overnight I'm out of the way we're just gonna park here and luckily in the morning it had melted enough that uh, I could just drive out but like, no point in throwing chains on in the evening when who knows what the morning will give us if I have to chain up in the morning I'll have to chain up in the morning but I didn't have to Just need to get rid of this red light because it takes so long to get up to speed uphill here. Put in an overpass here.
speed limit. It's all the way from the red light to the gear to get them to the speed limit. Well, it would super be even longer. This one's downhill, so it's a bit better. I'm gonna attempt home office. Or not home office, but West Kelowna office. Might bite me, but I'm gonna try it. Hopefully there's nobody parked there. Not really room for a semi to pull in where I'm about to pull in, but I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna pull right into our West Kelowna home. Office. Home, uh, I keep calling home office, but West Kelowna Sutco office. It really is, maybe it is home office, even though it's not where Sutco, this is where the biggest office is, where yeah, I don't know this is where the president works out of. Yeah. I don't know if they officially do that. helicopter. Everything doing exactly what it's supposed to do. side that's where Sutco has a yard for the trucks to pull into but I don't want to go to the yard I just want to go to the office
huge shopping center here. You got all the big stores. Yeah. Walmart, Home Depot, Canyon Tire. This is the closest Home Depot. Like certain stores we have to come this far from. Yeah. This is the closest Home Depot to us where we live. It's a couple of them ones like that. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but. Then you have to go to Kelowna for like the closest Michaels and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, a lot there, yeah. Uh, Kelowna has almost everything that, yeah. that Canada has. For the most part, yeah. If you want a Toys R Us or a Michaels or... Yeah. You've got a chip truck broken down. Ooh, scratch the side of that truck. That's a weird crinkle in there. Yeah, it's probably been laid over somewhere. Yeah, maybe laid it on the side that it was been laid over into the ditch sideways. Yep, that makes sense. I don't see any parking on that side for you. No parking? made them fly. <laughs> I'll park over here. I can park there. Yep. Can't park up there, but I can park here. Yep, I jumped the sidewalk so that the trailer would be further off the road. There we go, Satko, right there in front of us. I think it's Doug's wife. Anyway, she just goes, the Mexican wants it. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> she, she's from Mexico. <laughs> I just started laughing. Was, okay, what's it for? Oh, never mind. I, I'll, I'll get Drew to take care of that. <laughs> goes, just in case you have to do something with it. <laughs> you should have been fighting. Like, no, the Malaysian wants it. And you know, you just kept going back and forth. Okay, GPS, I do not like your directions. I will promptly ignore those. Okay, let's go home. Well, we'll get part way home before we get to our hour. Fire truck behind me is returning home as well. trailer to be in that lane. That's why I did the little loop. And I want to be in this lane and that car is not going so thank you for not going. I can make the corner thanks to that. I worked 
do it really painlessly. It'd be a little more painful sometimes. So yeah, that's where our office, main office is located, right there. So I think a lot of our foreign drivers get put through this office. Um, anyone in the Okanagan, you'll, you'll be visiting this office. Well, it makes sense. It's Kelowna Airport. It's it's my office. It's it my is. my home office in yeah. Haven. It's an hour away from home, but the closest one. <laughs> really enjoy the people in there. It was fun. Always, always fun talking to the people because every single time you get treated like a person. I've told people, truck drivers, when they're talking, complaining about their companies and stuff, and I'm like, hey, our company pays a fair wage. It's not the lowest wage out there. It's not the highest wage out there, but it's a fair wage. And I like the people I work for because they treat you like a person, not a number, and that's the biggest thing. Well, even like going back to yesterday, how they followed up with their with the, with the near miss. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they really are down to earth, wonderful people. Not only do they get to know you, they get to know your family, they get to know me, they get to know. Yeah, Everybody yeah. Else. they go out of their way to say hi to Jess. Uh, in fact, the first, second line that uh, Mar said was, uh, how's Jess? Like, yeah, she's outside. She said to say hi. <laughs> I thought about going in, but then, then like, if I get talking, we're going to be there for all day. like Morris uses my tarpon video as part of orientation. Oh, we should have taken that. It's been a while since I've tarped the video. Yeah. I've tarped the video. Done a, done a tarping video. It's been a while. Yep. And your chain up one should be Chain up needs to be redone. Yeah, once I can go with you, it's easier. We, it'd be easy to shoot those videos again. Yep. Yep. I did a lot more of the outside walking around videos when Jess was with. She can hold the camera and Good to have the cameraman. I'm good at that. Here. 
engine brakes full. Come down at almost full speed if you get it right. Well, depending on what kind of load. Uh, Super B loaded, you you might want to go down a little slower than full speed. But this is a US load on a Tritum. Full speed's not a problem. And some white caps on the water. Yeah, there's some white caps on the water. It is windy out there, that's for sure. I'm going to speed up because we're doing 80 instead of 90, but I see brake lights just as they went into the corner. I'm like, maybe we'll lay off on speeding up. I'm 75 now, but I still see brake lights. I think lots of space for going downhill like this. Welcome to Peachland. Well, I'm trying to think, I don't think there's any visible orchards here that used to be peach trees. Yeah, I don't think there's any orchards. Maybe up top there might be some small orchards, but Peachland does not have much for orchards anymore. Yeah. It's all turned into housing. zone that everybody does 90 in. I'm going to be the leader in the back. Unless there's some trucker or that's not from the area. Or a trucker that has satellite speed tracking like our company does. I've never been a speeder so it doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. I was like, where are you getting me? I don't speed either. <laughs> yeah, it's, I've never... No, I can't say I've never had the urge to speed. I think as a teenager when I first got my license, speeding was a thing. I got one speeding ticket. I don't have that urge. And luckily I joined the fire department very early after that. And that took that urge away. I think in two ways. I got I got that adrenaline rush I needed by being on the fire department instead of by speeding, and I saw what speed did. Yeah, I've seen too, too many cars wrapped around hydro poles or trees. golf ball. You see the key still underneath it. They just need to put signing properly on the yeah. bottom. To finish the job. I like the, the painting of it, the shading. Yeah, the, they did a good job of it. Used to be a golf course up there. It was an eyesore for many years. It still kind of is. They just need a like nobody owns it, so nobody wants to do anything with it. I think the town finally painted it. And the water's pretty rough.
that's a red light. Come around that corner at a speed that I know I can stop for that red light. That is beautiful along the lake here. Kind of have that really nice stormy feel to it. I, I, it I like it. Yeah. Make some nice photos, I think. on my bumper. Let's start taking this lane a little early. Do that so they don't pass me on the left. Oh, they're staying back there. We're good. Let's see if they get sent up the pass. Man, there's some pretty big waves rolling in there. That'd be kind of fun on there. If it wasn't so cold, it'd be fun to kayak in waves like that. I enjoy kayaking in big waves. I used to. I think if I was more confident swimmer, that would, that would be better. But they're small waves if you're thinking ocean waves, but for a lake, pretty big lake, big pretty big waves for a lake. Yeah, and it's usually calm, so. Yeah, the wind surfers are out. Oh, yeah. Back to 70. Once again, this is a road that people do 90 on, but that's also why a logging truck rolls over at this corner every single year. Really? Not every year, but quite often. And you see cars here in the water, too. Yeah, cars end up in the water here. It's not deep water, so it's never... Rarely. Is it uh, fatal? But yeah, people speed and end up in the water, or the trucks roll over on this corner. Usually, a logging truck. so cold that would be fun and it's not cold cold it's like plus five it's warmer than it has been it's cold for us. <laughs> got a haircut i'm cold now everywhere i go engineering planning part of this highway right here uh, from the connector where we went down the hill to where the four lane starts they want to connect that all together with the four lane highway so they're in the planning process of that so and hopefully in a few years from now this will be a four lane highway 
likely a little bit further up on the mountain, bypassing Peachland. We'll see what they decide to go with. One of the plans is going right through Peachland. negative feedback from the town of Peach Time for the highway going through town. Well, it's good for the businesses, but bad for the amount of traffic you get. If it bypasses the town, it'll make it a getaway town. It'll, it'll slow that town down. There will be a lot less gas stations, less tourist things. Or uh, this is where I want to live because it's a quiet town. If it ends up going through town, you'll have more gas stations and hotels and stuff like that. Definitely change the way people live in that town, whatever this highway decides to do. Once she's allowed to come with, she's not going to come with every week, but 
more often than she has yeah. been. What did we used to do at least half the time? I think so. Sometimes three out of four weeks yeah. you were with. It just depends on what appointments I have and what food we need to be made. And... Yeah. Yeah, Jess makes all my food in the truck. All my food is pre-made, frozen, and then I just throw it in the toaster oven, leave it in there for an hour, and then I can eat my supper. Nice, hot, homemade food. We were doing Every pretty good. Week. We had a good stockpile until uh, I came with until those. Until you came with, and now we've used up most of the food that was yeah. in there. Yeah. And now I have to try to find that right now. The stores that have a lot of meat. Yeah, so. because I'm going to pre-made meals that you have left, I'm going to use up this next week. Yeah, well I have pulled pork in the fridge already to make next week. Mm, yeah, me, I'm getting pulled pork. And then I have to make more chicken tender. Yeah, pulled pork. Did we, did we eat all the chicken tenders already? I think you only have one in one there. One meal left? And one at home. There's none in here. No. Then I guess we only have one meal left. So next week in the gas, there's going to be a lot of meals. Thanks for that. Yeah. Well, guys, I think we've got to our hour. Almost home. I think we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. For who's going to walk home and get the pickup? <laughs> yeah. I can walk home and get the pickup, but then I want you to get my two straps out there ready and cut them to size and get everything ready and put in the pickup. Yeah. Well, I'll gladly walk home and get the pickup. Right. Well, we're pulling into Summerland here, so thank you guys so much for watching. I am out of here. Really, really, really appreciate all your support. You guys rock. Adios. This video is brought to you in part by the letter C and these YouTube members. Cookie starts with C. What other things start with C? Oh, who cares what other things? C is for Cookie and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Thank <laughs> you.